Good evening, everyone, and welcome to In the Upper Room Outreach Ministries of the Monitor. My name is Shauna Roy, and that's just about all the time we have for an opening. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are jam-packed from front to back today. I'm here with Nancy Lopez. You may remember her from some of our other programs. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Good to see you. Thank you, especially Mount, especially Mount Cuba. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We went to Mount Cuba, and we don't have time to talk. I know, but we will. <laughs> we will. It's going to be a great year. Those were. I took some really good pictures. I know you did. Yes. So Michael is here. He's over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we want to just share with you some of the amazing guests we have this evening. And I'm going to need to cheat on this one. Go for it. I, I, I could do this, but it would yes. take too much yes. time. Yes. We have with us, um, you may have seen this on our Facebook page, uh, Melinda Proctor who I met at the Phenomenal Woman Banquet a few years ago is going to be talking to us about real estate. And it's a very important segment. If you are interested in buying a home and you think that it's out of your reach, mm. I implore you to stay tuned because wow. Melinda is going to explain why it's not out of your reach. Awesome. It's a very important segment. And then after that, we have the Comeback Athletes Network and there'll be th uh, three or four people on <laughs> with that yes. segment. And then we have Soldiers for Christ. They were on on our October program, and they're going to be talking to us a little more about the programs they offer. They've brought with them the director of their career program, uh, Carl Chansey, so he'll be here. We have See the Road Travel, our new regular feature where we explain to you how travel is not out of your league. You can save and get way ahead and go on amazing trips that you may not have thought were possible. And then we have Ulysses Butch Slaughter. Mm -hmm. You may remember that he was on our program before, and, and I had a little bit of a breakdown at yes. the end of his interview. He yes. has a heart-wrenchingly emotional story about redemption and forgiveness. Again, something yeah. you don't want to miss. Right. And then we have Imani Henry, who is going to be joining us to talk about 100 Men Reading. She has an event coming up soon that we want to make sure that you are aware of. So, that would have been so impressive if I could done it by memory. That's all right. Uh, it's still impressive. Let me tell well, you something. Well, we'll have cute cards. Yeah. Okay. Um, or right. teleprompter. Right. No, no. And, and, and Rush Limbaugh says <laughs> he has broadcasting excellence. No, Sean. <laughs> you and then. And you. Okay. Oh, yeah, In the upper room thank broadcasting you. There you go. Oh, yeah. excellence. Yes. So, Nancy, what do you have for us this evening? Well, I must say that uh, I just came from the annual NAACP dinner, their annual dinner. Uh, and I want to congratulate uh, Chandra Pitts for being one of the awardees for her educational uh, program, One Village Alliance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Chandra, congratulations. Mm. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and you're doing such a great job for the community. I was there on behalf of Maria Cabrera, mm -hmm. as you know, who won the, the she's the at-large uh, Democratic nominee right. uh, for uh, at large in Wilmington. Yep. Uh, so she's doing really well, but I she wanted to come, but she's out trying to save the world. <laughs> Super women. <laughs> she's doing her part, man, and then some. But one thing that has been on my mind uh, for quite some time uh, since I've been in Delaware for about 20 years mm -hmm. is uh, the percentage of minorities and the, the lack of representation in positions of influence okay. in government. All right. So I'd like to do a, uh, a lengthy segment that will continue on the Upper Room website mm -hmm. and uh, Mike is going to hold me to that. Sure, <laughs> sure. Because this is important folks. It's not just about what government is doing, but what are we doing? Because okay. remember, government, we are the boss of the government. It's not the other way around. That's right. So we can't expect government and elected officials to do their work and we're not showing up at the meetings or right. showing up to the table. And as Latinos and African Americans, we have to show up at the table. Amen. I know it's frustrating. We're busy. We're working. Right. We're raising children. But, but everything we do on a day-to-day -day basis, there's a law attached to that. Yes. And that law was created in a room full of people talking. And if we're not at that table, then we're not gonna get our, our needs met because as Latinos, as African Americans, we know our own people. Mm -hmm. not, not necessarily the elected official knows where we're coming from. We know what our children need. So uh, right now, I'm gonna give some numbers. There are about 10% of Latinos in, the, in Delaware there is not 10% or not even near 10% of the representation of elected officials or uh, in positions of influence. And the same goes for African Americans and women. Yeah. Women really need to support each other as we are running for office. Mm -hmm. You decide the party. Right. 
but we need to get more women to run for office. So right. have any questions, uh, you can call, uh, call us here, uh, you know, the numbers on the website of the Upper Room. But I want to give you on the website some hardcore numbers and how it's important that we meet these officials th that we're the boss of, mm -hmm. that we meet them halfway and attend the meetings. Yeah. You know, if you can't attend a meeting, you can always send a letter uh, to the elected official's assistant and then it will be uh, documented right. and it will be, you know, put in the docket that you make, that you gave your input. There's creative ways to do that. And I just would like to just say this in Spanish for our Spanish viewers, que es muy importante que es muy importante que nosotros como ciudadanos y también inmigrantes que participamos en el, en, el, en el programa y el proceso de gobierno porque nosotros somos el jefe del gobierno, no es la otra, no es la otra manera. So es, es muy importante, si no sabe participar, nos llama aquí para saber qué tú puedes hacer porque las leyes que tienen en los libros tenían que hablarlos en las mesas de influenza. So es muy importante que participamos. Sé que está ocupado, tiene trabajos, uh, tenemos trabajos, tenemos hijos, tenemos problemas, pero tenemos que participar en el proceso de, de, de uh, político. Gracias. Thank you, Nancy. Thank so you, much. You're welcome. Really appreciate that. You're welcome. Let's go to the throne of grace. Okay. Join us. At home, please join us and bow your hearts and minds as we prepare to go to the throne of grace. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening. It's a very special occasion, Lord. We thank you for all the wonderful guests that you've sent our way. We thank you for maintaining this program, Lord. We thank you for Nan and for Shauna. We thank you for their commitment to bringing the information to our viewers at home, Lord. We ask that you touch each one of those that are tuning into this program and even those who aren't, Lord. And we just thank you for, for the inspiration that we continue to draw from, Lord. It helps us to continue with the work that was started by Sister Dottie Neal, mm -hmm. Lord. And Lord, we know that some families out there are grieving tonight, and we ask that you reach out and touch them and comfort them. Send your Holy Spirit their way, Lord, that they may recover and move on with their lives, never forgetting and never losing love for their loved ones who would want them to continue on in the grace of our Lord. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Thank you, Michael. All right. We have a packed program for you. Please continue to stay tuned. <laughs> and this next segment is the one that's so crucial. It's about home ownership. Please continue to watch. We'll be right back. <laughs> 